Oh my gosh. So this morning, I had the grand opportunity to go back into the classroom with teachers and students because you know that's really important to me at Strobel Education. I think that when a person leaves the classroom, when you go to become an administrator or a coach or a consultant, that you don't really realize what you're walking away from because I always say you, you'll never have that core group of students that you're you know, walking daily, growing and influencing and impacting and being a part of. And so um, you just don't, you don't realize what you're giving up, which is the four walls of that classroom and what's happening. And so I, I have this fantastic teacher, Whitney Leatherland, who is just knocking it out of the ballpark when it comes to all of these different things that I'm teaching. Um, growth mindset and genius hour. And so she invited me into her classroom today um, to see what's going on. And I just want to tell you that I literally had goosebumps the whole time I was in her fifth grade class. Um, when I walked in, they were doing Socratic seminar, accountable talk. The kids were having these really deep discussions about things that are going on in our world. And they were having conversations. They were responding to one another. They were stating their opinion. They were backing it up with evidence from the text. And I just, I could not believe how these fifth graders could dialogue back and forth and how they were generating their own questions um, that were fantastic questions. I mean, she's taught them how to ask these questions through through her close reading practices. Um, but just to watch the level and the depth of conversation happening was amazing. I took some video clips. I can't wait to share some of that with teachers. Um, but I was just astounded at how just she has raised the bar so high for her students. And I'm going to tell you what, they are reaching it. Um, you know, I believe in having gaudy goals. And if you have gaudy goals, students will always rise to meet those goals. Um, but then I got to watch Genius Hour, which I am a huge proponent of in the classroom. Because I really do feel like we, you know, we kind of have lost creativity in the classroom and creativity is exactly what this next generation needs. They need creativity skills in order to be able to do their jobs. And so, you know, Genius Hour is based on this principle, uh, Google's philosophy, which is if you work for Google, 20% of your time has to be spent researching, exploring, investigating a topic or a passion or an interest that you have that's completely unrelated to your job. And what Google has found is that 80% of their best ideas come from the 20% of time they give employees to kind of play. And so we have teachers who are implementing genius hour in the classroom. And that's what I got to watch in Whitney's class this morning. Basically, they have 45 minutes every Friday and they kickstarted this, this next one. They kickstarted it this morning. So I got to watch them researching and exploring topics that were interesting to them. And I will tell you, these kids were nothing short of amazing. Oh my gosh. I mean, I watched um, one little boy was showing me how he has an interest in computer coding. And so he ha was learning to code his own video game. Um, I had another little girl who showed me her Genius Hour project from last uh, nine weeks, which was she wanted to learn how to use household items and make skincare products. And so she made a face sugar scrub. She made... Um, a lotion, she made a toner, and she researched how to do this and what products to use and what their benefits were. And then she created this booklet of what the products were, what the ingredients, how to use them, how they are good for your skin. Another little girl wanted to learn how to make soap, so she had walked through the process of doing that. Um, someone was wanting to learn how to do magic tricks. Someone else 
was wanting to learn about the Greek gods. And so they were researching all about the Greek gods and learning about them and putting them into a creative product in order to present to the class. I will tell you that these kids, every single one of them for the entire almost two hours that I was in there, every one of those kids was 100% immersed in their learning. And guess what? Whitney wasn't teaching. The kids were doing the learning themselves. She was walking around and facilitating and guiding them and asking probing questions. But it was amazing to see that these kids had this autonomy in the classroom, that they get to choose. There, there's no list given them of here's topics to choose from. What do you want to learn about? These kids are full of ideas of things and topics that they want to learn about. And I just love seeing how they were taking control of their learning. I asked some of the kids, like, what is your favorite thing about Genius Hour? And they said, oh my gosh, we, we love that we get to be creative, that we get to try things. And if they don't work out, we get to try again and we're not afraid to fail. Oh, this has, you know, this is growth mindset all over it. They love that their teacher truly lets them search out things that they're completely interested in. And over and over and over, it was about the learning that's taking place. I saw those Indiana academic standards all over the place while I was a part of this genius hour. There were speaking and listening skills and creating skills and the technologies and education skills and math skills and writing skills and researching skills. I'm telling you, I was blown away by what I saw happening in those classrooms. Um, I am so excited to talk about this topic in January, to talk about growth mindset and how we foster and, and, and nurture that in our students and in ourselves. I'm excited to help teachers begin incorporating this idea of a genius hour where your, your students just absolutely come alive. And it, like I said, the learning, it was just so much about the learning and so Whitney is just she's just this rock star teacher and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret so she and I are planning something together that I think our teachers are going to love and we can't tell you about it yet but it's a little project that she and I are working on and I just believe that it's gonna be so beneficial to teachers who are considering this idea of how do I grow a, uh, how do I incorporate growth mindset? How do I incorporate genius hour? And so I just wanna say that there are amazing things happening in our classrooms. And I am so proud of our students and our teachers.